The Department of Justice orders Lincoln Public Schools to pay damages for discriminating against deaf students. I'm Quinicia Fraser. Thanks for joining us. A student's mom says this ruling opens the door for all deaf children. KETV Newswatch 7's Aaron Hagerty is live with the district's response. Aaron. Lincoln Public Schools tells me it's reviewing the findings and will work with the DOJ. Lincoln-based group Disability Rights Nebraska says they first complained to the Justice Department about LPS policy, policy years ago before the pandemic. They say sometimes justice moves slowly but are pleased with the DOJ's findings. And so my mind was set that I wanted her to go to our neighborhood school because I felt that it was important for Ella to have that bond with her neighbors here and with her sister going to the same school. Vicki Campbell says in kindergarten, her daughter Ella didn't get what she needed at the elementary school closest to her. At Cahoe Elementary, she struggled. To get the help she needed, Campbell says Ella was placed at Beatty Elementary in South Lincoln instead, more than a 20 minute drive away from where she goes now. During the summer, she doesn't have any friends around because all her friends are down in, you know, in other areas of the town. Disability Rights Nebraska took up Ella's case and complained to the Justice Department. Without naming Ella, the DOJ says in a letter that there's no evidence that LPS considered whether it could provide ASL at all her classes. It says LPS must withdraw blanket policies to send students needing ASL interpretation across the district to a cluster school. It also says they must give ADA training and pay undetermined damages. Another mom tells KTV about her daughter's case, also mentioned in the letter. She says LPS tried to move her daughter to Lincoln Southeast from Lincoln Southwest for her senior year, despite not knowing sign language. She lost her hearing because of brain tumors. She didn't know a soul there. She didn't know a teacher. She didn't know anything. And you're going to throw a deaf student into something brand new. I wasn't going to do that for her. Both parents celebrate the DOJ's action. And it opens the door for all deaf children. Deaf and hard of hearing children should not be treated differently than their peers. In its statement to me, LPS also said it will continue to provide individualized assessments and ensure services meet unique student needs while aligning those plans with resource availability and following the law. Back to you. Aaron, thank you.